Hello, female youthful structure, a widely prevalent but less so poorly discussed topic. So few days, few years back, people used to consider female youthful structure as a very rare entity. People normally used to label, or the doctor used to label it just as a youthful, youthful meatal stenosis, or just the narrowing of the opening. But with the advancement of the uh, investigation technique and uh, knowledge of the problem or the disease, we are uh, seeing this problem very frequently at our center. So female youthful structure is not a rare entity and uh, number of patients are increasing because of instrumentation and catheterization. So normally a female with urethral structure present with poor urinary flow, difficulty in passing urine, and large residual urine in the bladder. So on the, in the OPD, we evaluate the female with the suspected stricture by doing the ultrasound to check the kidneys, bladder, as well as the residual urine. We do a urophlometry to see the uro urinary flow pattern. And if it is suggestive of a stricture, we subject the female for uh, retrograde urethrogram and a MCU, which is maturating sister urethrogram. Female urethral stricture uh, because of malleus reason, as I will earlier mention. So in these cases, uh, patient normally had a history of instrumentation or catheterization, which has led to narrowing of the urinary passage. In female, the urethra is of shorter length, so the everyday incidence of stricture is less, but still it's prevalent. So the treatment coming to the treatment part of uh, female urethral stricture. If uh, on evaluation it is found that there is just narrowing of the urethral opening, which is known as urethral metal stenosis, we do a cystoscopy and urethral dilatation and the patient get good benefit uh, after doing this procedure. But uh, if during the RGMC we come to know that the patient have a long stricture involving half or more than half of the urethra, then we uh, decide or we advise the patient to go ahead with urethroplasty. In the past, there were a lot of uh, myth related to female urethroplasty. People used to think that uh, there is nothing like female urethroplasty and it can lead to uh, damage to the urine control and can and the patient will be uh, having urinary leak for the rest, rest of her life, which is totally a false uh, thinking and uh, urethroplasty is 100% treatable uh, modality for female strictures. So in these cases, we normally do uh, buccal mucosa urethroplasty in which we take uh, mucosa or a tissue and from inside the cheek and we use it to form or to increase the caliber of the urethra. Female urethral structure uh, normally requires uh, surgery of duration of 2 to 3 hours and after this surgery, a catheter is placed for around 21 days and once the catheter is removed, the patient is able to pass urine with full control and there is no leak of urine. So my advice is that if you have any urine symptom in the form of poor urine flow or if you have difficulty in passing urine, you should consult a urologist. And if you are diagnosed with a female urethral stricture, if you are female and you are direct diagnosed with a urethral stricture, it's very well curable and we can easily treat it with the help of urethroplasty and the results are really good. Thank you.